Hey, Rick fans, and welcome to the Big Bakery, where all our jokes are half baked and most our bricks are medium rare. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There's already a lot of people waiting. I see M. Global Flex, Robin Hall, and the Lego Room, and Martin, Monsieur Martin. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, he is coming. He just he, he he just arrived. Actually, he just arrived. And today we are building this wonderful little Jeep. Uh, truck vehicle here, the 31075. This is one I've really been looking forward to building because I really, really like the look of it. Um, as I said in, as I said in the whole video where I first showed this one, I have been thinking about maybe doing a color swap thing with this one because. I think it could look a lot like the Jeeps from uh, Jurassic Park, and that would be great, I think. But um, today we're just we're just building this one. We're just building this one, that's for sure. But I also think it is very, very cool. And let's have a look at the back, where we can see where we can see the alternate builds as well. There is a small helicopter as an alternative and there is a what is this a camp or something like that and a small raft maybe i don't know what this is precisely huh does anyone it says le bateau ne flotte pas uh au barco nar flotte i'm sorry i just murdered the language there i think uh boot schwimmt nicht I have no idea what that actually means, and I don't know what this actually is. If anybody knows, uh, please tell me, because I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, well, let's get on to it. Uh, if I sound a little nasal today, it is because I recently had a cold. I'm fine now, but um, yeah, so that's why I might sound a little... The boat that doesn't float. Thank you, Martin. I'm pretty sure you're right. The boat that doesn't float, but it does float. The boat does float right here in the picture. Right here, this boat floats. Boot schwimmt nicht. Boot is a boot that's not swimming. Ah, das Boot? Boot? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And M Global Flex, you just got the set. All right, yeah, well, I got it very recently too. So now we'll have a look inside and see what's in here. Empty and no stickers this time. No stickers because this this is a creator set and there are no stickers in creator sets, as you guys well know. As you guys well know. Uh, and here's the small uh, instruction book, and it is not folded, and that is good. And actually, there are three instruction books in this one. So Robin Hall says, uh, Lego say so kids, what? Lego says, no, Lego says that so kids are disappointed when it sinks to the bottom of the bath. I believe there should be a knot in there, maybe, Robin, maybe. Uh, yeah, Have, oh, aren't these normally sealed like this? Lego room? I thought they were always sealed like this. Uh, that's news to me. I don't, I, of course, I've seen boxes where they aren't sealed, but I, I usually get them sealed. Hmm, interesting. Interesting that it's not always sealed. That's very, very interesting. I'm not sure. Hmm. I remember in the older sets uh, that the manuals wouldn't be sealed, and hence they would often be bent or this figure in some sense um, yeah of course there are three manuals there's the main build the jeep the small helicopter and the boat that will not sink whatever it is I, it's still a bit weird to me that it's called boat that's not sinking or boat that won't sink don't really don't really get that hey uncle bricks hello 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 and welcome 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 uh, and Robin Hall asks, is the chat lagging? I don't know, not to my eye, not right now. Uh, but um, if anybody has that experience, I can only encourage you to try to refresh. <laughs> Maybe that'll help. 
it's not lagging for me. I'll try to refresh just to see if anything goes uh, differently. Because it might be lagging. Yeah, try to reboot Robin. That might be a good, a good strategy. Ooh, there's some like nice printed pieces in here. These board pieces are pretty cool. I think uh, they have some nice print. And there are two of them, three of them, three of them. That's good. I like those. I, I would like a lot more of those for mocking, that's for sure, because they really lend some nice details to, uh, to the build. And that's good. We like detailed builds. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. All right, good, Robin. Good to have you back. And good that it was your end, because I'm not sure I could do too much about uh, lacking uh, chats anyway. Mm. I use my phone. I use my phone for uh, live streams, so I think the amount of control I have is actually pretty limited. It's actually pretty limited. Uh, I could do something with my computer, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not that big of a internet whiz, so I'm not sure uh, I'll figure that out, like, ever. <laughs> but um, if I get, you know, to around to it at some point, well, we might see some more sophisticated streams from my hand, you know, multiple cameras and such, but uh, that would in entail that I had multiple cam cameras, and I actually don't. So, um, yeah, well, the first thing we are putting together is the uh, Misfit, the Misfit with a binocular. I actually like his uh, shirt here. He has a hoodie, which I find pretty cool, and he has a very nice hairdo as well. Actually, this, this hairdo is a hairdo I've been finding uh, not regularly, but I have found it a couple of times by now in some of the used Lego holes that I have um, found. So that's pretty good. Cool. I found one in this color and I've actually found one, uh, I think, what, that was black as well. So that's good. But here is the mythic, uh, sorry, the misfit guy and uh, he's ready for, well, watching birds or something, I think. Maybe watching for bears, something else. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Lego room. Well, you're going to add this one to your wanted list, your Lego wanted list. Well, I I know that list to be a very, very long list for me too. And it seems that for every season that goes by, there is a little more that's added and a little less that has been bought. But maybe that's just me. Well, this is a wonderful stack of bricks. It's always wonderful to see new bricks with no scratches and that whole new brick shine to them and no dents or small you know, or dust that's settled on them or something like that. No, that's, it's all new and that's always so wonderful to get, get out of the box. And here we have three small printed pieces, which are very cool. I like that the nails ha are put in imperfectly. This one is sticking out and this one has actually come all the way out, which is pretty cool, I think. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, Robert Hall says that is the same hoodie for the disabled misfit. Ah, you mean the um, the one from the uh, bus, or am I mistaken? The first thing we are putting together here is the small dog, and I think it's actually pretty cool that the that they start to, that Lego have started to build animals again. I know there was a time when they would also build the horses, for instance. And that was pretty cool, but uh, then they started doing those bigger mold things and, and, and that sort of disappeared. But now it's come back to some degree with these creator sets because we're getting molded dogs. I think there was a molded dog in the, um, in the house, the, 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 the New York-esque house, city house. Uh, and that was a built one too, which I liked very much as well. Um, so that was good. That was pretty good. Uh, trying to put a dog to get the is maybe not the easiest thing. This piece is good. I would really love to get to use these pieces for something at some point because they are pretty cool, I think. They are pretty cool. I don't know, of course, they do have... They can, of course, attach uh, to a, a hook like this, but uh, maybe they can be used for something else. Yeah, maybe they can be used for something else. That would be interesting to look into at some point, I think. I think 
they have a human sized version in Legoland of the wheelchair user, says Robin Hall. That's true. Uh, and Robin Hall asked if I were at the fan weekend. And yes, I was at the uh, Skabek fan weekend, uh, which was here in Denmark and was a big thing. Uh, I was only there there on uh, Saturday, but that was pretty great. As, uh, actually, there was uh, a lot of great builds. I, I personally, I haven't seen so many great builds in one place uh, ever. That was really, 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 really impressive. Uh, I there was, I, I can't describe them as such. You will just have to check out the videos that is probably going to be leaking out. Not leaking, but but coming out from people such as uh, Beyond the Brick, and I actually have a couple. I think I have I recorded five or six interviews uh, on the uh, when I was there on Saturday, and I will be publishing those. I I had the uh, the interviewed people's uh, consent, and they have agreed to let me publish the interviews here on my channel. So. Uh, on the following five or six Thursdays, uh, with a few exceptions, you might see these interviews starting surfacing here on my channel. So that uh, that's, uh, that's that's something you can look forward to on my channel. I have interviewed some of the creators of some of the beautiful mocks on the uh, Scabic Fan Weekend. And it was a great experience, actually. And just for a short break, I'd say this is a dog. The small dog we just built. I actually like this one. It's very... Um, it actually seems very dynamic, uh, I think, even though it is, of course, very static because it is made of bricks. The face has always bothered, bothered me a bit because it doesn't seem alive exactly. I mean, this big black snout just seems, yeah, I don't know, seems a bit weird to me. But uh, it's there, and the guy is probably happy for having his dog. But back to the... Um, uh, back to the... Back to the fan weekend, uh, it was a thing that ran from, well, the, the public could come in from uh, Saturday to Sunday um, in Scapic, and I actually believe there, were, there was more uh, than that going on uh, throughout the week. I believe there was different kinds of arrangements for the uh, uh, people who were involved, I think... Uh, they had they, there was a st there was a statistic that came out at some point and I don't know what exactly that covers but it said there was more than a sorry than a thousand Lego fans registered for the event and I don't know precisely what that means relative to the amount of visitors that eventually ended up coming uh, the thing is I uh, did not go as a registered Lego fan whatever that means I was a paying a paying uh, visitor. So, uh, and I had a ticket, of course, and I know there were two color, color, two, there were, there were uh, tickets of two colors. There was uh, gray and there was yellow, and I had number 745, I think, and there were at least seven or 800 of the yellow ones as well. I had a gray one, and there was a, at least seven or 800 of the yellow ones as well. So that means, you know... You know, approximately there must have been between 13 and 15, maybe 1600 people there. So that was pretty well, or pretty good, because Scarbig is actually a little out of the way. That Scarbig is actually a little out of the way. <laughs> there was, there's actually multiple places in Denmark called Scarbig, I realized, driving there, because it suddenly took uh, 45 minutes extra for me to get there than I had first thought, because I thought it was one Scarbig and not another. The next thing we have built is this, and I don't know precisely what that is. It's a tree log, I think, uh, that's standing in the ground. I think there's a whole thing going on here with the Jeep being able to pull a, uh, a trunk, a tree trunk. So I think this is the bottom of the tree trunk that is attached to the ground, and that is the next little build we have. Hey, Blockhead UK! Welcome, 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 welcome! Ah, oh, only briefly. Well, that's all right. That's all right, Cass. I hope you'll be able to stay as long as you want to. M Global Flex asked, 
I just posted a city update and you'll make fig sick figures in there. Well, thank you, M. Cobalflex. That is pretty cool. I'd love to see that. I'll see if I can catch that after this stream. If not, I'll be sure to catch it this weekend because that is exciting, I think. Uh, the next thing we're going to be doing here is, of course, getting started on the Jeep itself. And that starts out with this green uh, plate here, which is a bit odd as uh, all the car is actually uh, blue and uh, why the bottom would be uh, green then is a bit of a mystery to me but it is um hey james box hey 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 and welcome my friend welcome 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 i hope you all are having a wonderful friday and i hope that this is the start of a great weekend for you all it is for me it is for me that is for sure, that is for sure. Um, but I was talking about the Scabic Fan Weekend, which I visited uh, last weekend. The Scabic Fan Weekend is a Lego event, or a Lego conference, if you will, where a lot of great builders show up and show their stuff. And there are a couple of competitions as well and there is of course a lego shop uh, there are several lego shop but there is a uh, danish toy store that that opens up their sort of lego department in there for the days the duration of the event and um, you could buy lego sets at fair prices i would say they were everything i saw was cheaper than i have been able to find it on the internet on Danish sites, uh, I just like to add that I, I'm not, I haven't really been uh, buying Lego sets uh, from shops abroad because I can actually get pretty good deals in Denmark. Uh, and when you have to pay for shipping and such, the whole idea about buying stuff abroad sort of disappears. It either, it either has to be very special or uh, something that I really want that I can't get right away. Uh, and I haven't been there yet. So, uh, for what I I know and for what I have seen, the prices at that conference was actually pretty good. The uh, the modular buildings, all of them except for the city square, is that what it called? Uh, was set as a, at a thousand Danish, and I don't know how much that is in pounds or in dollars, but somebody might do that calculation for us because I am building. Uh, the Lego Home says, I almost was going to be at Newcastle. Almost. What's in Newcastle? Uh, James Box, ah, I'm at Lego's show in Swinton. Swinton, UK this weekend. Ooh, that sounds great. I've heard about that one. It, is that the one in a train museum? Or is that, am I mistaking about something? The one in Swindon, is that in a train museum? Uh... The Lego Home says, James, I live right next door to Swindon. Oh, you can't make it. Okay, that's the one. Yeah, the one in the train museum. Yeah, that, that sounds cool. And I, it sounds cool that it's in a train museum as well. Very fitting, I think. Very fitting. Oh, but anyway, <clears throat> the uh, the uh, brick uh, Lego store at the uh, Scabic Fan Weekend was actually pretty reasonable. I, I, I did buy stuff. I will not re reveal it just now because I think I'll be doing a video sort of uh, sort of recapping my experience from that and uh, you know uh, showing my purchases of that weekend because I did do some good deals that's for sure that is for sure uh, I'm talking about this here we go uh, block Hey, Tom Baker Briggs. Hey, 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 and welcome, 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 my friend. I hope you're well, and I hope you're having a very nice Friday. Blog at UK, I'm displaying all my Macropolis models in Newcastle this weekend. So now you have no excuse not to film a full flyover, cast. We want to see everything put together. That would be great. We really need that. We need to see it all. We need to see it all together. We need to see that full city, because I am sure it, it would be... It will be beautiful. And you are welcome, Cass. The sick fic that you sent me was wonderful too. I really liked it. And I really liked your video. The video you made 
uh, presenting presenting my little sick fig. That was pretty great, I think, because uh, I liked the whole story you set up. That was great. That was really, really great. Uh, you have made a flyover. You're just going off to edit it soon. That is cool. I really look forward to seeing that, Cass. I really, really do. That is going to be so awesome. Tom Mega Bricks, what's your favorite town set from the 80s? Oh. Oh, the 80s. Yeah. Hmm. I think the hospital. I don't remember the number right now. And I don't even remember if it's actually from the 80s. If it was from the very early 90s, if it's not from the 80s. Uh, I think it was in the 1991 catalog, the hospital uh, from back then. That was a great set. It's a set that I always wanted, but I never got it. Um, yeah, um, that is that, that was a cool one. That would maybe be one of my favorite sets from back then that I never got. Um, actually, the 80s is a bit early for me as when you when we talk about getting lego uh, i was born in the 80s that's true but um you know you have to be of a certain age to really make sense of lego as a toy as a product so i wasn't necessarily old enough in the 80s before very late in the 80s to actually enjoy lego um so asking me of my for my favorite Lego set of the 80s, no matter what team it is, might be a bit. Uh, I, I'm not sure I can answer that, you know, really, because I'm not sure I I would remember them or actually have favorite sets from that period. But just off the bat, I'd say that um, I'd say that uh, that uh, hospital, the small hospital. There's just one ambulance and a I think maybe just. A waiting room? Maybe. Uh... All right, see you, Blockhead UK. It was good to have you here. Uh, and I hope you have a very nice conference. Good luck with your Micropolis. It would be uh, great to see it once we get to that. I really look forward to seeing that video. Cass does some great things on. Uh, on Micropolis builds, so you should really check her out if you haven't already. You should really check her out if you haven't already. And uh, uh, the Lego room says mine is 7823 Container Depot. Oh yeah, I think I know which one that is. That is a cool one. That is a really really cool one. Uh, the Yellow Motorcycle Shop. I don't remember that one. I don't remember that one. I have to look that one up a bit later. The mo yellow motorcycle shop sounds interesting. Sounds really interesting, but I don't, I don't really remember that one. Uh, here we go. And <coughs> well, the uh, back to the back to the uh, to the Skabic, uh fan weekend, which is that Danish. Uh, Lego conference that's on every year I think I think this was the and I'm not sure about that but I think this was I believe this was the 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 tenth version of this but I'm not sure because uh, the homepage of the Scabic fan weekend which I, is, is is not very informative it it's it's sort of it it's it's sort of when I read the first time I thought this is mostly for people who have been here before, who know stuff already, because the amount of information was, uh, well, partly overwhelming and partly not nearly enough <laughs> on so many points. I never really understood uh, what the whole registration thing was, because you could buy tickets at the gate as well. So if I should give one recommendation for the uh, people behind the Lego Scab the Scabic Fan Weekend, I would suggest that they do update their web page to maybe contain information that are relevant to first time visitors people who haven't been there before because that was kind of my impression that a lot of these things were sort of meant for people who who had tried this before who had been there before not everybody have i have never been there before but it was still very interesting to be there mm -hmm. uh m global flex asks 
Oh, hey CD Bricks! Hey, hey, hey CD Bricks! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Uh, but M Global Flex asks, what do you think about the new LEGO Flintstones idea set? Well, I think that is pretty cool. Flintstones was one of the cartoons I remember seeing every Saturday morning in my childhood. And, and you know, kids of the late 80s, early 90s, mid 90s will know just the, 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 will know what uh, Saturday morning cartoons are. And I'm not sure that the kids of today are actually fully aware of what that was and what it actually meant and meant you could get up on Saturday and Sunday mornings to some extent but really Saturday mornings and watch cartoons for a couple of hours before anyone uh, got up and uh, and it was usually in Denmark at that time it was usually the older Hanna-Barbera or Hanna-Barbera uh, cartoons such as the Flintstones or uh, Yogi Bear or uh, what's that called the, the one with the pigeon the one with the carrier pigeon with Muttley the Muttley the something flyers was it called something flyers I don't know but all those uh, old Hanna-Barbera Jetsons the Jetsons were were uh, were definitely a part of that as well and I really enjoyed watching that so uh, the new Lego Ideas Flintstone sets I think is wonderful I'm not sure I'm gonna get it uh, people who have been following my live streams for some t wacky races thank you Lego Room thank you Lego Room wacky races that's true thank you thank you thank you um, but uh, people who have been following my channel for some time do know that I am not necessarily too interested in things that are not uh, in minifix scale. That's why I don't have any of the architecture sets uh, and such. I do find the architecture sets very beautiful, that's for sure. But, um, but I don't get them because they're not minifix scale. And that would be one of the drawbacks for me if the new Flintstones uh, set idea set is not in minifig scale then I'm not sure I will get it because then it's just a display piece and not something that can necessarily go into your Lego city however we could always you know discuss if a Stone Age house would go very well in any Lego city and you would have to do something to make it fit I think but at least uh, I like that the figures that the minifix the misfits fits um, uh, no matter what, I seem to be there. We go. Uh, uh, M Club Effect says, I think the Flintstone set is gonna be minifig scale. I hope so. I really hope so. I do like the idea of, of taking stuff like the Flintstones, as uh, Simpsons, uh, was has been done beautifully. I think beautifully. Um, and, 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 and I think that, that Flintstones is the next logical step of that. Um, there are other cartoons that might be just as well served by doing them, making them in Lego. I think, uh, sorry, there's some tricks I'm missing here. Um, and uh, <coughs> Jetsons, for instance, would be a, a great addition as well. Uh, the Lego Room says the Simpson House is one of the best sets I've had the pleasure to build. I think you. Oh, hi, Mr. Brick. Welcome, 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 my friend. Welcome. I hope you're having a very nice Friday and I hope this is the start of a great weekend for you. And I have heard that about the Simpsons House several times, Lego Room. That it is a very pleasant build. I have not had the luck of actually uh, having that one in my hands yet someday maybe i don't know uh but i haven't it, it, the, the the simpsons the simpsons uh, stuff came out in a period period uh, where i wasn't too interested in uh, lego so that's too bad i missed out on those but uh, there'll be other great sets i'm sure uh i hope i will at some point manage to find the funds to buy the Ghostbusters fire station before it is actually discontinued because that one I think is beautiful I really think they did a very very good job there that is for sure but I'm still seeing it 
uh, in, in regular shops once in a while and I'm still seeing it when I go to Legoland and all that. So I think for now I'm still safe, but I think it, I, I, I shouldn't wait, you know, uh, a year from now because I think it will be discontinued at some point. I don't know when it came out and I don't know, but I do know that the that is not a set or fixed rate. It's not like uh, Lego will do a set and it will be on the market for five years and you can count on that every time. No, there's a difference to how long they are continued in their assortment, in their uh, lineup. Uh, CD Bricks. Uh, sorry. Uh, the Lego Room says Ghostbusters. HQ is a stunner. Get it sooner rather than later. Yes, I agree. I agree. Uh, but it is a question of funds because it is not cheap. It is actually very expensive. And if I never get it, it will be because of the price. That's for sure. That is for sure. Now we get to the string part of this. Hey, Belgian Lego fan. Welcome, 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 welcome. I hope you are having a very nice Friday and that is and that this is a beginning of a wonderful weekend for you. We are building the 31075 Outback Adventures uh, and I'm building the main build which is a Jeep and uh, I have an idea that someday maybe I will do a color swap thing with this one because I think it could look like the uh, Jeeps from Jurassic Park in a very cool way but uh, first of all I'm just trying to build the um, <clears throat> the uh, uh, main build of this set and if people are, th are wondering about my nasal voice it's because I had a cold the last few days and I'm just just over it so it's still a bit stuffy but um, I'm good to go and uh, I hope you can survive the nasality. <laughs> uh, just a moment, guys. I have to concentrate a bit. Oh, yeah, they do that stuff. That's true. They, they put it in and pull it out. Got it. Got it. Uh, do, 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 do. Come on. And the small knot. Uh, Lego Sketch Art. Hey, 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 hey. Hello, my friend, and welcome. I've been enjoying all of your sketch art on the Instagrams of late. I saw your ghost, was it? A, a cool and classic 90s ghost uh, drawing. And I like that you had made it uh, in both uh, with and without light. I really like that one. That was actually pretty funny. You guys, I don't know if you know that, but uh, Lego Sketch Art has a uh, Instagram page. Isn't that you? I hope I'm saying nothing wrong here. Uh, James Box, I wish I had the firehouse, but I keep buying vintage, vintage 9 volt Lego trains instead. Well, <laughs> uh, it's not a bad, it's not a bad, uh, a bad, you know, alternative. But um, in the length, in, in the long run, I'll, I'll probably hope to get the fire station instead. And if not that, at least the Ecto one at some point. I'm sorry guys, I have to focus for this. Apparently it's not easy to tie a knot. This should be easy. This should be easy. Why is it not easy? Uh, ah, Lego sketch out. That's true, Brick Illustrator. It's because your names are so not like each other at all. I just mixed you up. Sorry about that. Uh, it's true, Brick Illustrator. Uh, yes, it is true. I do remember your drawings now. That is true. You mostly draw minifigs, if I'm not mistaken, and you do monocolored backgrounds for them. Have you drawn? Have you actually drawn uh, Robin Hall's uh, avatar? Is that is that true? Am I mistaken? Uh, a Lego room. Uh, says I've got the firehouse in my mock city. It's wonderful, but I agree it's quite expensive And I have seen it in your city, and I think it looks wonderful It is because of cities like yours that I am Really really wanting to get that one because it is really really beautiful 
I really enjoyed that one. I like that whole, you know, classic New York style of building. I think, uh, is it called, what's that called? It has a name. Uh, I don't remember that now. But the style has uh, a name and I really like that style of building. Really like it. Really, really like it. So, we're trying to tie a knot on a very, very small piece of string and I have very, very big fingers. And it's not too easy. Ah, come on, come on, come on, you can do it. Luckily, this is not stickers. This is not stickers because this doesn't have to be straight as such. Come on, you want to do it. Please, string, you want to do it. Ah, do the thing. Yeah, there we go. Not, there was a knot. Uh, Brick Pasta, welcome my friend, welcome, welcome, welcome Brick Pasta, welcome, good to see you, good to see you, good to see you, I hope you are great, and I hope this is a wonderful Friday, and that it, and that it is the beginning of a wonderful weekend for you, I am pretty sure it is for me. We are building the uh, 31075 Outback Adventures, which is a Jeep, which I think would look cool if it might get a color swap treatment, and maybe look a bit more like the uh, ones from Jurassic Park. And here we go, putting in the winch here. Uh, uh, M Club of Flex, I went to a place called Kids Expo. They have a lot of Legos for sale and display. I saw it and, I almost, and it almost blew my mind. <laughs> I saw the Ghostbusters HQ for $290. Oh, that is still quite a sum of money. I And that is the main reason why I'm not getting the um, Ghostbusters uh, firehouse just now. Maybe sometime. I really hope to. But right now, it is a bit too expensive. I just used money on Lego... Uh, and that was expensive too. So, <laughs> and that is, that is the problem with having a hobby. It costs money. I think other people who have other hobbies will agree. Let's say, for instance, you perchance uh, play miniature games like tabletop games and have to paint an army um, and buy all the things for that. And buy all the paint and all the paint brushes and using hours upon hours painting the stuff well I'm pretty sure that would be expensive as well but I'm not sure how that is I'm not sure at all bum, 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 bum. the Lego room says I have a video coming up where I got a Star Wars USC set for under a hundred pounds few compromises but I'm so excited for under a hundred pounds you got a USC set for under a hundred pounds, which one was it? If you want to divulge that information, but that that's 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 amazing. That's um, oh eBay, I see. Yeah, eBay, but still, good deal. And James Box says, I often buy Lego sets in job lots. Job lots on eBay often works out a lot cheaper. Got some often sets over time. Job lots. What's that? A job lot. Don't know that, but could somebody please explain that to me? I don't know what a job lot is. Uh, Brick Pasta says, I have thought about getting some lots off eBay. Are there any sellers that are recommended? I don't know. Please, people, if you know any sellers to recommend to Brick Pasta, just do so in the chat. That would be wonderful. Last to be noble and said, hello. As your cousin, I know you okay. Uh, yeah, Lars, welcome. I'm just trying to figure out. So I would like to know what instrument that you currently do not know. How. Ah, okay, so you're asking, you know that I do know a lot of, to how to play a lot of instruments, and you're asking which one I do not know uh, to how to play and which one I would like to play. Yeah, if there it was an instrument I would like to play that I do not play already, I'd say the piano is just, just straight off the bat. I, I never really played piano. I, 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 you know, I dabble in piano, 
But and if not that, maybe um, if not that, maybe some kind of brass instrument like the trumpet or something like that. Not a saxophone. I do not like the sound of saxophones, but a trumpet maybe that would be cool. That would be cool. Uh, and yes, it is true. I do play the guitar. I also play the mandolin. Of course, I dabble in bass because everybody who plays the guitar will eventually dabble in bass. There will always be an occasion where there's too many guitar players and not enough bass players. So yeah, I have dabbled in playing the bass as well. Uh, yeah, but thank you for the, for the question, Lars, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Lars is the one of the owners of the wonderful uh, film hool or the movie cave, I think would be the correct translation, which is a Danish uh, YouTube and podcast, correct me if I'm wrong, podcast that makes uh, movie reviews and they do a wonderful job. Uh, yeah, so you should check them out for sure. Oh, there's a lot of messages right now. Can't really keep up to everything. So if I'm missing something, I am sorry. It's not intentional, but it just it's just how it happens. I just look at the chat once in a while. Uh... Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> uh, Martin says, I've been spending five minutes trying to come up with a funny line about the prices of tabletop gaming. I'll give up and go to bed instead. See ya. Well, see ya, Martin. <laughs> uh, Martin, I believe, has a blog on um, Flames of War, is it? And you should check that out. He does some great paint jobs uh, on his uh, figures. He plays tabletop games, Flames of War being one of them, and I believe Warhammer 40,000 being the other, uh, and maybe some others as well. Don't know. Uh, don't know precisely. Uh, you could be the Danish John Endwhistle. I do not know who John Endwhistle is, but that name is wonderful. Endwhistle. Um, Sigbricks, welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I to be waiting. I'd be debating whether or not to get this set. Well, I am building it right now, so you might make a decision once we're done. Uh, until now, uh, on page twenty-seven, I'm actually pretty satisfied with it. Not too difficult, and a lot of great colors in it. Um, the string was a bit finicky, as it always is, and now I have to attach the hook. Uh, the hook, the hook, the hook, the wonderful little hook. And it's just, you know, tying knots on this uh, string here is not that easy. I don't know if there's, an, if there's an easy way to do it, but I have never found it yet, that's for sure. That's, hey, Bridge Studios, welcome, 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 my friend. I hope you're great. And I hope you're having a great Friday. And this is hopefully the start of a great weekend for you. I'm trying to tie a knot on a very small piece of string. And that's why I might be silent for a few moments. That's why I might be silent for a few moments here. Because I'm trying to, pie, I'm trying to tie a knot on a very small piece of string. A very, very small piece of string. There we go. There we go. That's a knot. Should I do two? Uh, I should do two. I should do two knots. That's for sure. Two knots coming right up. Uh, it's always the second one. This is. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. I have very big fingers, I realize now. There we go. Two knots. Voila. <laughs> uh, I hope we can get a Lego Harbour set soon, says M Global Flex. I agree. We need the return of Pierre and Harbour. That's for sure. Those uh, Pierre Harbour sets of the 90s were so great that they could easily release them if, uh, if it's up to me. But it's not. But I hope it would be someday up to me to decide which sets uh, Lego should release. It'll never be, <laughs> but but uh, here's to hoping. They should really release harbor sets, that's for sure, because harbor sets are cool. Those old harbor pier sets, if you will, were really, really nice. I really like those. I really like those. Uh, 
Robin Hall says to Brick Pasta, I find they that must be the eBay sellers tend to be too so savvy it's hard to find good deals. Bricklink is good and being in Europe buying from Germany can be a good option. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure you're right on that one, Robin Hall. I think I've purchased things from German Bricklink sellers and found that they do good deals. Um, yeah, so I might agree on that one. Uh, and Belgian Lego fan says, I want Lego City farm sets in 2019. That would be a great idea. It's been some time since there was farms, uh, uh, hasn't it? Uh, I think... Hmm, I think I've seen some of those. Uh, they were definitely, re definitely released in my dark ages, that's for sure. So... I haven't had any first-person experience with them, but I have seen some of them uh, in sort of uh, second-hand or just in, in reviews and such. And they seem pretty cool, actually. Um, Farms is a great, is a great, great addition to the whole Lego Town theme, I think. Um, yeah, so I would like to see those as well. Uh, <clears throat> Sick Bricks. He asks, how do you make your thumbnails, Brick Bakery? Well, uh, I make them using a web uh, design tool, a, web, a tool that's on the web called Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. And I use that because I watched a video on how to make your thumbnails. I don't remember the... The name of the video now and I don't remember the name of the channel but it's a youngish guy uh, who tells who, who has a lot of info on how to run your YouTube page and such, such. Uh, but I use that tool called uh, canva.com and you can uh, put in the um, the measurements of what you want to do and I mean I, I dare say there's a particular pixel size for uh, for uh, blah, 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 the thumbnails and, and you should of course try to match that as good as you can so canva.com and, and uh, try to find that video I don't remember the video right now I don't remember it. It, it, it it is named something as simple as how to make thumbnails for your YouTube videos something like that It's you can you can find it quite easily on uh, YouTube or Google if you will so so that's how I do it I took all of his, his advice uh, he he gives some very basic advice on how to uh, edit your photos if you use photos and uh, he also gives some very basic advice on what should be sort of um, uh, the, the, the main thing in your thumbnail and when I say basic I don't mean that it's necessarily easy I mean that it's sort of <coughs> a one-on-one -on, -one on how you should do it uh, <coughs> sorry about that oh <coughs> uh, yeah uh, <coughs> yeah camera <coughs> sorry guys I just choked on something <coughs> but I'm okay Moving on to page 34 and having a look. Yeah, I see other people, Brick Pasta, you are using Canva as well, it seems. You are <coughs> at least talking about it being a good place for uh, thumbnails. Yes, I have enjoyed using that. Especially because you can, once you've sort of settled on a, on a template that you want to use, you can just copy that temp template and and um, <coughs> and uh, and use it again and again and that ensures you know uh, a, a sort of stability or, or uh, continuity uh, on 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 your uh, on your videos <coughs> sorry if you look at my at, at, at my page and my YouTube page and, and click on videos you'll you'll quickly see that I have sort of a design or a template that's the same uh, of for all my videos but still I play around with colors and, and titles of, uh, as well but 
that gives it a, a a a little more of a professional feel, I think, or at least it makes it nicer to look at, in my eyes, at least. So, uh, and it helps people identify my videos as my videos. I'm pretty sure that when people see that, uh, you know, that that block of text in the in that that goes halfway down, but not on a direct vertical line, uh, but more on a on a slight in slight you know inclination uh, i'm pretty sure that people say oh that's the brick bakery and that's what you want that's what you want that's what you want from your from your thumbnails you want a a visual style that people recognize hey super cup pumpkin head welcome 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 <coughs> uh, uh, super pumpkin head asks is this a new camera or something the picture quality is really good no this is just my iphone uh, five, I uh, know, iPhone SE. So, uh, if you think picture quality is good, um, nothing has really changed. It's the same camera, uh, as I always use, and I, it's the one I use for my filming as well. So, it's just a lucky day, maybe. <laughs> uh, uh, too late, you've called 112, Robin Hall says. Uh, why are you calling people to help you? Lego for life! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome, 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 my friend! Hope you're having a great day. I hope this is the start of a great weekend for you. And Sickbrick says, congratulations on almost hitting 300 subscribers. And thank you, Sickbricks. Yes, it is getting dangerously close. Um, we'll see if we ever get there. And... Uh, if we do, I'll be very happy, because that would be great. Uh, getting 300 subs is about 250 more subs than I would ever expect to get. So, um, <clears throat> we're on our way, uh, and it's good. I really like that. Uh, and I hope I hope it will hit 300 at some point, uh, but I don't count on it. Um, but it would be good. It would be good if it, if, 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 if it happened. It would be wonderful. Uh, I have, I think I have seen, or at least my sort of private impression is that the subscription count is slowing down a little bit uh, at this point. I think it might have something to do with the season <coughs> that uh, a lot of the American uh, uh, younger people who go to school and such, have started school again. And also the fact that I did not live stream last week. I'm actually pretty sure that that has also pushed the uh, algorithm in some direction. But I don't know what it is. And that's fine by me. I don't, I don't know precisely how it all works. But as long as the subscription count is rising a bit uh, over a week, I'm happy. So that's good. Uh, do, 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 do. Brick Pasta, your content is awesome, Brick Bakery, and your growth reflects that. You're growing fast. Thank you, Brick Pasta. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's very, very nice of you to say so. Uh, I'm always trying to improve my content, uh, as every content creator knows, I'm sure. You are never really <laughs> satisfied with your uh, content. You know, there's always things... Whenever you see a video again, you think, ah, oh, I could have done so and such and such better. And I always try to improve. I always try to improve what I've done uh, because I think that is maybe the best way. Of course, that, that's the best way to get better, of course. Uh, but it's also the best way to sort of make a product that's worthwhile watching. So that's, that's, uh, that's what I try to do at all times but thank you for saying so brick pasta i really appreciate it and i appreciate your continued support brick pasta has a great channel as well he does some very funny videos he's been his editing has improved markedly over the last three four videos maybe um and uh, and i think you guys should really check out his channel because he does some very funny stuff i really enjoy one of his um the video he made with the small escape part from uh, the the Last Jedi was actually pretty funny. The whole intro to that one was was uh, funny. I think I really found that one hilarious. 
you should do more like that uh, brick pasta that's for sure that would be really really cool uh, you guys should check out his channel for sure he just he does great stuff uh, Robert Hall asks isn't 112 the number for ambulance and emergency services yes it is but uh, I think I missed something in the chat because I'm not quite sure why we are calling uh, the emergency services uh, the Lego Room, I agree your content is top quality, BP, and you do a great job of bringing us all together. Well, thank you. Um, I am so happy to hear you say that, because I think, actually, the whole, uh, <coughs> the whole community part of this Lego thing is very, very important. And I think being able to, you know, be together... Uh, in some way with or you know oh I don't know how to say this but uh, I think you know when being interested in something like this it's cool to find people who are interested in the same thing as well and when we do find people like that I think it is important that we try to sort of um, get together you know it's really join on it try to get to know one another and, and and try to figure out what makes us all tick because if we can figure that out we can help each other you know get getting better at the things that we want to get better at if i want to get better at mocking i, I i'll check out certain channels that i've met people that i've met uh online on youtube and check out what they do and 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 get inspired by what they do but um and the way that i yeah, and so so I thought I, I think my way to add to that because my mocking skills aren't the best yet. They'll be better at some point, I'm pretty sure. Um, so and so I can't really give any hints or clues on 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 how to to make good mocks. But what I can do and what I try to do is to be curious towards the people I meet and try to reach out to them and 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 get them to uh to open up a bit and tell me things that maybe they haven't told anyone yet not that it should be secrets but just things about lego that they haven't necessarily discussed in their videos and that's why i make the talking with videos with different uh other youtubers i find those videos to be very very interesting both to make but also sort of hearing the result of and 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 yeah so 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 that's what i try to do uh, with my YouTube channel, uh, at the moment at least, is is bringing bringing uh, people together and and trying to trying to pry out <laughs> from people, try to wrestle from them the uh, ideas, information, and 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 thoughts they have on Lego. And I yeah, so that's 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 uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, the Lego Room. The Lego community is very supportive and helpful to each other. No competition, no silly stuff. It's pretty special. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you. Uh, I, I I haven't really seen anything yet that that was, you know, uh, uh, that has put me in a bad mood or or people uh, sort of getting in, into fights about something. So and that is pretty special. And I hope we can keep that going forever because. Online communities can deteriorate very, very quickly. So let's keep on pushing all that good stuff into the community so we can keep on pulling out all the good things from the community. That will be great. Uh, Brick Pasta says, exactly. It's much more enjoyable when connecting with, li um, with like-minded people. Yes, I agree. I agree. I agree 100%. Um, and that's what I really enjoy about the LEGO community. And being a part of the Lego community in this way is great. I really enjoy that. I really, really enjoy that. I really enjoy that. Uh, this is a great build. I really love the tire here in the front. That looks so cool. It makes it look like a real Jeep. Only problem with this is that it's probably, I don't know, 20 steps wider than all other Lego vehicles. But it is minifig scale, and that's cool. <laughs> what I mean is, this will look weird in a city because of the uh, width of the road plates and the, uh, the roads. So, yeah. Anyway, 
half breaks. Hello, my friend. I didn't see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sorry I didn't see you, but welcome. Uh, you love this set, and you have an one unopened in your collection. Ooh, and you can't wait to build it. Love the printed wooden tiles. Yes, I talked about those previously, and I really love those as well. I would like to have a lot more of them to use for mocks, that's for sure. Uh, maybe I should buy something, uh, some of them, you know, just these, maybe via Bricklink or something, because I think they'll be prove they'll prove useful at some point. Uh, this build is quickly, quickly approaching the end point, and as I thought this, um, this stream might end up being a bit shorter than we usually do, but that was a bit on purpose, as I've said before today. I have been sick this week, so which is why my voice might sound a bit more nasal than it usually does. And um, and might also be why I planned maybe this uh, live stream to be a bit shorter, because I would love to go to bed a bit early tonight, because I am actually a bit tired uh, from this week. But for now, it's all cool. It's all cool, and we will continue building uh, this vehicle, this little Jeep. Uh, oh. There was, uh, Robin Hall says, there were some nasty comments when Big Show got taken down. Yeah, well, uh, that's true, and I haven't really followed that too much, but I believe most of the comments were uh, aimed towards YouTube and the whole what is fair use and what is a copyright strike and such and what is fair and what is not fair i don't know if if there was too much going on uh between channels or between uh content creators at that point and i am not really interested to know if there was but i do remember that whole ordeal and that was um i i, I wasn't really a part of youtube at the at that point i hadn't been around for too long uh, before they got closed uh, and and I never really realized that they were a thing because before I re realized they were closed so I don't have too much to say about that actually but it is a shame when uh, channels get closed that's for sure that's for sure always a shame when uh, channels get closed so that's about all I have to say about that I think but uh, yeah Half success, being sick sucks. I agree. I <laughs> hope you get better. I am very much better. I am 99.9% .9 there. I just need to go to bed at some point tonight. I'm off to work now. I'll check out the rest of the build later. Have a good day. And a good day to you too, half bricked. I'm so happy that you stopped by, even though it was short. Uh, and I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the stream, uh, the rest of the stream at some other time. I'll leave it up, of course, so you can revisit it at your leisure. At your pleasure, leisure. At your pleasure. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> we are getting to the wheels at this point, which is pretty good. I'm just trying to. F oh, this is this is the right one. It's a it's a it's a bit of a funny way that they've actually attached the wheels in this one, not using regular. Uh, wheel fittings, but uh, some of these technic pieces instead. Pretty, it's pretty interesting. Never seen that before. Or did we? Did we see that? No, we didn't see that in the uh, in the uh, in the surfer bus. No, we didn't. <clears throat> Robert Hall says, "I need a hot toddy." Yeah, I. I, I <laughs> Uh, thank you for the offer. I don't think I'll have one. I think I'll just go to bed. <laughs> but thank you, and thank you for your, for your uh, concern. That is very, very wonderful. Uh, yep. yep. Uh, I am putting together these small lights that goes up here. Beep. 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 And I think I need four more of them that goes in front, which is pretty cool. A lot of lights, that's cool. Makes it look very utility-esque, that it has some great use. And that is cool. I like it when LEGO 
uh, things, any Lego thing really, looks like it has an actual use, that it uh, has utility, that it can be used for something. That is uh, pretty cool. And I think stuff like lights and, and projecting lights are great for that. And of course this, this, uh, this hook here in front is of course very utility esque and uh, that's pretty cool too. I think I need to add this one. <clears throat> Uh, like this. Hey, Seafruit Tutorials! Welcome, 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 my friend! You have caught the very, very last few minutes of this live stream, but we are building the 31075, the Outback Adventures, uh, which is a small Jeep, and I actually like this one very much. I have been thinking about doing a color swap with this one because I think it could look a little like the uh, uh, jeeps from the movie Jurassic Park so I'll I'll see if I get to do that at some point doing a color swap with this one that would be pretty cool I think that would be pretty cool I think um, yeah but welcome anyway uh, yeah last minutes yeah it is it is pretty much the last minutes of this build I am sorry to say because as you can see there is a lot of bricks left and we are just slowly ever so slowly approaching the end of this build but it was very nice of you to drop by anyhow um, <coughs> Sea Bricks Tutorials has restarted his channel very recently uh, and he is looking for subscribers I think so if you guys uh, enjoy uh, Second World War stuff uh, made of Lego you should really check him out because he does some nice modified builds on his channel it is pretty cool some of it I have enjoyed several of his builds earlier and I still will I think so yeah if you into that sort of thing you should really check out his channel because he is rebuilding at the moment because he has started a new channel. Yeah, you lost about 900 subscribers. That was that was a dark day. I I must admit, it's always it's you can just see all that hard work just flush down the drain. That's not that's not completely funny. I think I. Uh, uh, I, I, I hope you'll get back to 900 very soon. I hope you'll get to there very soon. That's for sure. And here, there's now wheels on this uh, Jeep here, and it looks very cool. The heaviness, the weight of it is really considerable. That's cool. Oh yeah, guys, and if you haven't done already, you should, you should really like this video because it really helps out my channel. And uh, we're trying to grow it, I'm trying to grow it uh, every day, and every like helps. So if you will, Please like it, and if you don't like it, you can dislike it as well. That's all right by me. You can do whatever you want, as long as you are happy. I actually think this was the last little piece. <clears throat> yes, it was. This was the uh, little lock that can be pulled by the Jeep, like this, which is pretty cool. Which is pretty cool. So that is the last few. That is the last few bricks of this build. There's a few left over here, but I think there always are. And all of these are one stud, so that should be all right. If there are any last questions, I'll be happy to answer them. And if not, I'll be ending this stream very, very shortly. Um, and you should all sub each other, you should all uh, try to check out each other's channels because all of the present uh, visitors to this stream do great! 
stuff. They do great stuff. They are great stuff to see out there. And uh, yeah, so please sub each other. Uh, maybe not the place, but what happened to Canadian Brickyard? I don't know. I don't know exactly. I saw that Maniac for Bricks posted on Twitter recently asking the very same question. And I think, was it you, CD Bricks? It was somebody who reacted with a comment much like my own that I don't know, I just saw all his uh, different, um, what do you call that? Social media outlets sort of just disappear uh, from one day to the other almost. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what happened to Canadian Brickyard. Uh, Brick Pastor says he deleted his channel. Yeah, that's for sure. But uh, why? Does anybody know why? Actually, I'm not. <laughs> I, I hope he's all right. I, I don't know what went on. I have. I have. I have no knowledge about this the thing if anybody knows anything um yeah please feel free to share it if you want to uh but um if not i think uh i think he'll yeah as you said brick pasta he'll reappear someday i'm pretty sure he will too i i i i i, I don't know maybe it's just you know maybe he's just uh, sort of resetting for a, a channel reset or something i don't know I don't know, and I, I I don't have any half informations or any whole information, so I don't know. That's that's just I don't know. Seabrook uh, Tutorials asks, "Is this car a city set? No, it's actually a creator set." Uh, it, and yes, you are right. <coughs> it is a bit big, just like the Sunshine Surfer van. It is a bit bigger than everything else, and it will look big in a city. It seems big in relation to the misfit. Yeah, so guys, thank you for joining this stream. It was so good to have you all. Please remember to comment, to comment like and subscribe if you want. Uh, and if you don't want to like, you can dislike as well. There are buttons for both. That's fine with me. And uh, you should know that I have a new video coming out this Monday. And this Monday, it'll be a mock. And if you follow me on Instagram, you might even have a slight, slight idea of what that mock might be. But if not, you'll just have to wait until Monday to see this mock. And it is, uh, I think it turned out pretty great, but you'll have to see on Monday. So, yeah, good night, everyone. Uh, and I hope you had a great day and I hope you'll have a great weekend. So, that's all for me today. I hope you'll comment, like and subscribe and I hope I'll see you guys next Monday.